Data in the graph provide the most direct support for which idea in the passage. Okay, so let's take a look at that graph one more time. Okay, so we see that consistently fair trade coffee makes more money than regular coffee does. And we also know from the passage from paragraph six, beginning here at line 48, that fair trade coffee is brought up as this idea where the three different arguments in the passage find common ground in fair trade coffee because it is it has good consequences, it is virtuous, and it's also the right way to act in a flawed market. So my prediction for this question is that data in the graph will provide the most direct support for that idea in the passage, that there are still places where ethical economics can work and everyone can be happy. Let's uncover the answer choices and take a look. A, acting on empathy can be counterproductive. I'm going to cross that off because that's just the way that the author has characterized Adam Smith. B, ethical economics is defined by character. Okay, that's the way that the author has characterized uh, Aristotle. C, ethical economics is still possible. I think this one's a pretty strong contender because fair trade coffee is an example of something that unifies all the possible approaches to ethical economics. And D, people fear losses more than they hope for gains. This one just sort of seems like a wild card. I'm not sure what it has to do with the graph. Uh, this is something that is from elsewhere in the passage, but I don't believe this has any bearing on, on the information provided in the graph. So I'm going to cross that one off too. This question is different from other quantitative questions because it requires us to make a connection between the graph and the passage. We are meant to synthesize information from the graph and see how it applies to the arguments being made in the passage. The question to answer really is why is this graph included alongside the passage in the first place? Answering that question will lead you to the argument that the graph supports. I'd also like you to notice that I used the same prediction method here on this quantitative question as I did on several other questions on this passage and others. I predicted that in showing the success of fair trade coffee, the graph was showing that ethical economics is possible. The correct answer matched my prediction because I had a good idea of what I was going to be looking for before I even looked at the choices. So that means I didn't waste time considering the choices and I could more quickly find a match for my prediction.